Hello people of YouTube, welcome back. I'm your host, Lintheos. Uh as you know okay, well I should probably not I should probably not keep saying that. It keeps raining every time I say it. Although nighttime does look pretty cool in this village. But anyway, as you know, if you've been watching my videos of the Shinder Life showcases, you may know that I never show my hotbar until I actually get into what we're talking about. So, we're gonna be talking about a bloodline. It's one of the newest bloodlines out right now. And it's, um, it's rare. I don't think it's great, but uh, it's pretty cool. So, we're going to be showcasing one of the versions of Sinko. The Azim Sinko. So, now all we got to do is stop saying so, even though I'm going to keep saying it. So, you know, uh, we, we got to find a mission, and then I'll come back. Be right back. Okay, now we're here at our mission. So... The first things first is the first ability, otherwise known as the V ability. I actually have to get one of them to... Okay, I thought they were bugged for a second. So, I have to get this guy to try and hit me. The V ability is a counter ability, like the Satori Akuma's B ability. So I'll press it, and then when he hits me, he gets shocked and stunned for about two seconds. Uh, making it, you know, a pretty strong first ability, actually. That was a lot of blocking. I did very well then. So let's just kill this guy. I mean, we have the uh, absolute, you know, a manpower over there to do so. So let's just keep using the first ability on him only. And yes, the first ability can kill. It's not just a uh, stun thing, which in some games you would just stun and no kill. Uh, anyway. We need to get two of them on us this time, so let's take you two, and let's get them to follow me. So, the B ability is like a giant crossing gun type thing, and that is very cool. So the V ability, by the way, can be activated any time, it's also splash damage. Now, the B ability, I did not show off very well, so let's try and show that off a little bit better. So, I press B. And then I get a giant version of the raw gun, pretty much. Let me just uh, finish these guys off, you know. Oh, by the way, when you use the V ability, you cannot be hurt in the time you can see the uh, the Senko, uh move on your screen. So that's pretty cool. Now, before we actually get into fighting this guy. I'm going to show you the form, the mode of it. So, if you hold C, you will go into this epic looking awesomeness. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, this is the only form, there's no second form. However, the buffs are really good, and you can go really fast. If you press X to dash, you will also get this cool little custom dash thing, which I think is very cool. So now, the C spec for this is, it's this... It's the, uh, I don't know what to call this, but it's just like the teleporting kunai. So I hold block, and then, or hold right click, and then press C. And it will do it to him, but it, it's yellow lightning shock, which is actually pretty cool. Now, the N ability is like a double raw Singon type thing. And you can also teleport with it. I, I did not know it was teleportation. I was doing these abilities on the way over here, and I did not know it could do that. Uh, this guy is actually very low, so let me wait until the inability comes back up, and then we can see it a little bit better. Okay, so, now I press in. I just teleport. I have some type of raw singon ball thing, but, I mean, he, he does anyway. So, it has, that is actually pretty cool. As you saw, the B ability is a giant type of raw Singon ball thing, which is uh, probably the strongest ability. Uh, the V ability, you know, the full counter, so uh, that's actually pretty good for PvP wise. The C spec is just the, uh, the teleporting kunai, except a little bit. It's a stronger version of teleporting kunai that I already have, and it's yellow. Plus, I think it stones longer, so that's cool. Uh, other than that, that's about it. So. Now, if you've been watching my showcases, you know what time it is. It is opinion time. Uh, so you can either skip to the end of the video to give me a full view, or you can stay here if you care long enough. So, 
my opinions on this. The good things about it. A uh, good thing about this that the normal Synchro doesn't have is that the equipable ability is actually in the C slot. And not only that, but the V ability, the first ability you get is very strong for PvP. That being the very first ability is very cool. The B ability is one of the strongest abilities in the game, doing the most damage probably, and it, it, it's very hard to counter. I stuttered there. But basically, when you go into the sky, I mean, it's, it's not going to be easy to hit you exactly. The inability is a little bit wonky, but the tele teleporting thing and then going back to where you were originally is very good. I'm not sure if you can teleport to multiple people. It's worth a try if you want to try it and when you get this. Um, that, is, that would be very cool. And not only that, but I think that this is one of the uh, less fun bloodlines in the game, but one of the stronger bloodlines in the game. So, it, it, yeah, that's that's what I think about it. But let me say the bad stuff about it. So what I think is bad about this Azim Simko is that the C-Spec ability is something you can get from a spawner, and it's not very strong. Um, that's about it. That's the only bad thing about it. I just don't use it a lot because I don't think it's very fun to play with. Um, oh, another big thing is there's not enough splash damage. If they made the C-Spec something that would involve splash damage, then I think that this bloodline would be a lot more fun and probably a lot more versatile and useful. Uh, right now, it's really only good for PvP and doing your mission as quest. A quest. It's not very great for war, but it's not bad either. If you do roll it, definitely keep it. I would not recommend spinning off it. But, you know, if you ever do buy an ability bag, then you should spin it then, because... Personally, I don't think it's very fun. I do think it's very strong, though. So if you don't have an ability bag, you should keep it when you roll it. And also, you should probably like the video, too. I mean, if you liked it. Don't forget to leave a comment down below what you want to see me do next time. And no, I'm not going to be playing Overwatch ever again, probably. I might, though. I mean, you know, the, the Widowmaker. It's an Overwatch reference. Alright, but anyway, yeah, yeah. So, don't forget that when you're going down there to leave a comment for whatever you want to do, that that big red button right above the comment section, right below the video, that says subscribe. You want to click that. It's free. It'll make me happy. It might make you happy, depending on what you see later on. And, not only that, there's no downside to it. You can always unsubscribe whenever you want. So, if you're never just saying, well, I really, I just woke up and I just hate this guy today for no random reason. Or you have a reason for whatever bad thing I may do in the future, you can unsubscribe. But, if you see a red button with white text saying subscribe inside of it, click it. And then it should turn gray with black text inside of it. As soon as you see gray with black text inside of it, you can click off the video, and then you're perfectly fine. But, instead of clicking off the video, I think I'll just end it here, that way you don't have to. Bye!